Hey, what's up, guys? It's XX Modern Warfare Game Cat Band for Chicken, and here's my final video on Physics and Flex V2. We're going over the rest of the game types very quickly because there's a lot of game types, and yeah, we've got to get through them all. So, this will be my last video until Physics and Flex V2.5 comes out on Physics and Flex or anything to do with World of War, really, most likely. Um, my next videos will be God knows what. We'll find out. So, We've got Mob Menu Lobby, which I've already showed in previous uh, videos. Oops, sorry, I forgot to say that this menu was created by Turbid Mikey135 and new channels Mikey's Mods. And his, I'm not sure of his gamer tag, I think it's Mikey M I K E E E Y Y X or something, I think, I'm not sure. Um, yeah, anyway. So we've got Mob Menu Lobby, which I've showed before, Infectable Mob Menu I'll show at the end. Forge Lobby is basically the same as any other Forge Lobby, even back to going back to, uh, yeah, going back to I Betray's Mob Menu, where I believe it's the first good Forge that was made. It's basically the same as that, as any other menu really, Motion Flex, except he's added a lot more models. There's never been this many models before in Forge. I'm just going to show you a few, just skip through all the models quickly, show you that there's a lot more than any other menu. Ooh, zombie. So you've got pretty much everything you can think of in here, there's loads of uh, models that you can spawn. Oops. Even the perk bottles, really not really had a proper in-depth look at this before forge mode I'm looking at the other other kind of stuff uh, so yeah anyway I don't have time to go through everything but I mean even this I mean how, how the hell he managed to get this I believe this is like the you use this in mapping it's like uh, yeah anyway use this when you're making like custom maps and stuff for um, that PC version, God knows why it's in here, but yeah, it's on every map, I believe. So, anyway, yeah, there's a lot of models, and all these are the same place model, place copy, rotate model, shoot model, delete spawned model, uh, forge pickup is you know, you can pick up other like items around the game, like doors, like this, by pressing right bumper on them, and it takes them out, and um. Customize model distance, I think that's definitely new. Uh, delete all spawn models is new. Um, main model, main menu, alright, take you back to the proper physics and flex V2. That's pretty awesome. Okay, so there's quite a few new stuff in there. Go ahead and restart and look at the next game mode. So we have all weapons mode, this was also in motion flex, I do believe. And basically, it's kind of like um, gun game from Black Ops, only it gives you a random weapon rather than like, the next weapon up from the one you had. So um, basically, it's 10 kills. Uh, it puts you on a high round up to uh, round 51 that we're on. And every 10 kills, you get a new weapon. And after a certain amount of kills, you get quick revive, and then a certain more kills, you get. Um, Double tap thing, speed pull or something like that. Okay, I have uh, I have quick revive, 35 kills, and it's not just uh, my kills alone that add up. It adds up all the kills from every player, which is pretty awesome, and it's uh, pretty difficult as well. He's added more guns in here. Uh, we've got the uh, default weapon. Also, he's there was he's added quite a lot of bug fixes into this. There was in Motion Flex quite a bit of a bug where uh, the monkey bombs when you threw monkey bombs they wouldn't do anything, so it was really hard to get ten kills with monkey bombs when they didn't attract the zombies. They were just like grenades that blew up after a certain time, uh, and that was really annoying because it kind of ruined the game mode a little bit. Also, you could buy bouncing Betty's, which he has removed. Uh, as you can see here on the wall, it's not they're not there. You used to be able to buy them, and uh, yeah, so you can actually survive a lot longer in this 
and he's fixed some of the bugs and stuff which is awesome. I have not encountered any problems with this game mode so far since I've been playing it. Next game mode we have is uh, Sharpshooter. This is pretty cool, you can actually customise your sharpshooter options. On Motion Flex I used to go into the Diva editor and add some extra stuff like maybe Insta Kill and uh, or Shoot to Revive or something uh, in this, but you've got the options right here in the game mode. Uh, you can put infinite cycle of weapons on. If you disable that then you it's winnable, the game's winnable once you reach the last weapon in the cycle. God mode um, is just pointless. I mean, no, who would do that? It just ruins the game mode completely, but I mean, if you want to, you can. Strong zombies is, honest to God, as hard as hell. It's really difficult to kill the zombies. Unlimited ammo gives you, obviously, unlimited ammo. I'm just going to start it with none of these enabled, so it's just standard sharpshooter, which means lots of zombies, normal health, uh, normal ammo, normal everything basically. So the way Sharpshooter works, similar to the gun game, you don't get perks, uh, I'm not sure if you can buy them, I'm not, I'm not entirely sure about that, maybe you can. Uh, and instead of 10 kills, it's a timer at the top left, as you can see there. And when that timer runs out, uh, basically the gun changes to a, another random weapon. We are almost at open this door. Uh, I think it's kind of cool, it tells you the gun at the bottom, as if you didn't know it already, but still, it's awesome anyway. So in this it's the same, there was this, the old bug was with the monkey bombs that's been fixed. Um, if I got monkey bombs I can show you they definitely work. Um, also but you used to be able to buy bouncing bettys off the wall, which and sharpshooter kind of ruined it because in the motion flex sharpshooter you did get unlimited ammo but it wasn't truly unlimited. It was like you could reload but your, then your ammo would replenish. But in this particular sharpshooter that doesn't happen. And in the old one uh, if you got Bouncing Betty you could place like 10 down at once before the round ended or the weapon changed. But uh, yeah, it's fixed that bug as well which is awesome. Um, yeah okay. So next game mode uh, that we have down the line is survival mode which I've already showed in my other videos so if you want to go check that out please check it out. That's the biggest and best game mode there is in my opinion for this uh, mod menu which you put probably the most effort into because there's ridiculous, it's just really fun and I've made like three parts to survival mode so go check those videos out if you want to find out about that game mode. Uh, power up mania is you get selected with a random power up. You see for me it's double points so I have to go around and get all the double points in the map before the other players get their perks. They get, they get different power ups that they have to collect. So one person might be max ammo, one person insta kill and whoever gets uh, the, whoever gets the most well, whoever fills their bar up, that has got that bar at the top left, right, and bottom, right, bottom left, and whoever gets those bars first, full up first, uh, wins the game. And basically, it's a pretty fun game mode. If you get the wrong uh, power up, then I think your bar goes down. So don't try not to run into the wrong power up, basically. If I run into instant kill, my bar goes down quite significantly. I'm nearly full up, but it looks like uh, Fox v Motions is going to beat me. And then, yeah, there he goes. Fox v Motions is the winner, and that's that game mode. It's quite fun, it's alright. And the cool thing is, it kind of kills everybody at the end of the game, which restarts it automatically, even in a public game, which is handy. Because otherwise, in a public game, you'd go back to the lobby and have to restart the game again, which would suck. Uh, so, after Power Up Mania, what we got? Roll the dice. Now, this originally, I believe this game mode was originally in Pine Trees Patch, and then it got imported from Pine Trees Patch into uh, Motion Flex V1. That was in Motion Flex V1, Riley's edit. 
uh, but he's upgraded, uh, Mikey has upgraded it since then, this is, he's like completely remade it. Uh, we've got that nice roll the dice box at the bottom, it tells you at the bottom left what everybody's got, being uh, invincible or whatever you've got. Uh, what have I got at the moment? Right, as you can see, uh, Gordon Freeman won, has new grenades. But there's lots more cool stuff. There's stuff like lag, uh, trip to the moon where you go flying up towards the, the moon up there. Uh, and there's lots of stuff that it does. Upside down map, sideways map. The, pi the original pine tree one was a very buggy because if you got a jetpack or something you could jetpack out of the map and stay there and then you'd be safe for the rest of the game which would ruin it. But Mikey's fixed all that. If you try and do that in this one it will put you back because you have a jetpack. Uh, once the jetpack runs out See, what people used to be able to do is just do this, and then get into a spot where the zombies couldn't hurt you, and then, hey look, I can stay here for the rest of the game. But, in this version, you can't, because when the next roll starts, I should get put back to the main frame, I think. Zero? Yeah. So it's see, he's fixed that, and wait, what the hell's happened to me? I can't move. Oh yeah, and he's set on fire. I can't really read, I'm sorry, I can't really read the bottom left to find out exactly what it is because it's um, it's an AV quality for me and the text is all fucked up, I can't see it. But um, yeah, anyway, it's a pretty fun game mode, it's a really fun game mode just to muck around on. Uh, it just gives you random stuff. DMC. And Cinderella bullets, awesome. Set the, set the zombies on fire. Okay, that's a really fun game mode you can play. You need to play it a little bit more uh, to really see everything. Uh, what else have we got? Hide and Seek. Now this game mode is hilarious, but it's, in my personal opinion, he's made it too hard because the models that you can choose to be in Hide and Seek is just stupid. You could, you could hide and nobody would ever be able to find you, but still. Uh, the cool thing is added into this is you can select who the seeker is going to be, or you can select random player, which is awesome. It can be anyone, and it's not me. So um, here's your models you can pick. Uh, there's quite a few different uh, models. Uh, you press right bumper to switch to the other list. There's a few different lists of models that you can be. Um, trash. Okay, I'll be trash. And if you press right stick, you can see your model. I mean, some of these models are stupid. You can be a mouse, like a dead mouse, that's tiny, and you could just hide somewhere, and it, nobody would ever find you. But there's a huge selection of models, um, which is pretty awesome. To open the model menu again, you've got to prone, press X. You know, you can't really see yourself proning, but still, that's what you do. Uh, let's see what we've got. Chalkboard, brain, spine, beaker, teleporter pads, sphere, lab cage, transformer, control panel. So there's a lot of stuff you can be. I mean, yeah, I mean, don't hide as that, but. or that. See, dead rat. Okay, I said mouse, but it's a dead rat, and you can just see it there. It's tiny! Um, what else? Wooden box, a wooden box, power lever, why not? I mean, come on. I'll hide here, shall I? Let's see what happens. <laughs> You'll never find me here. Can't believe it, he just ran off. Did he actually miss me? I am the power lever. So, the seeker's now got this awesome little marker above his head, which shows where he is. Uh, there's also uh, a seeker distance on the top left in, in kind of light blue color. It shows you the distance he is away from you. And he's just found someone. He's now looking for me, and I'm not too hard to find, to be honest. Uh, yeah. He has no freaking idea where I am. I cannot believe that he just ran straight past me originally. Is he coming? Is he coming? No. 
Yes, maybe. Yes, maybe he's heading, he's heading this way. No, he's not. Where's he going? Okay, I'm just gonna have to wait. No, I can't wait for him. I'm just gonna have to restart. And I'll choose just to show you what it is from the Seeker's perspective. Um, if I go and hide and seek and select myself as the Seeker, and the screen goes completely black. You cannot see where everybody is. Uh, we've got the countdown. I think it would be awesome if the countdown was a little bit um, less than what it is because yeah, it just takes too much time. Um, there was a glitch in, I'm not sure if it was Motion Flex or Toxicity V1, which I think was the first small menu that did hide and seek, where this black screen you can just fix it by clicking on options and then you can now you can kind of see through. Um, kind of see you know, that there's no black screen anymore but this one fixes that by making you look directly down at the ground so you still can't see and even if you try and move the right stick up uh, you still cannot you'll still be looking at the ground because your controls are kind of frozen completely and now you've just got to wait wait it out for this countdown to be finished um, this game mode only works on derbies, but in Physics and Flex V2, Mikey is planning on putting it into all the other maps as well, which would be great because there's a lot of models, extra models on all the other maps in Forge. So I'm just about to be released. Here we go. Not wrong at all. Alright. See, I hate being the seeker. Everyone hates being the seeker. See, people can be sandbags and stuff, it's ridiculous. So, anyway, the seeker has to run around, try and find the, the mo people who are models hiding in the. Uh, hiding around. You just gotta search for them. And it's not easy. Another thing about this game mode in in motion flex, uh, it didn't open all the doors, which made it kind of easier because you could, you know, kind of predict the way they went if they didn't don't turn the power on. Uh, you can find pretty much find out which room they're in by doing that. But in this game mode, again, he's made it harder by opening every single door and turning the power on, so you, they could literally be in any room and it's much harder to find. I probably ran past them uh, a number of times, but, you know, what, what can I say? It's much harder. You, they can be stuff like barrel. Oh, what a guess. <laughs> I, oh, that was a total random guess. I thought that was legit, and I was just showing you, you know, it could be a barrel like that. I was going to shoot it, and it, I actually got an awesome, like a boss. I don't know where the other... I don't know where Gordon Freeman is. Could be anywhere. Anyway. Restart. Okay, other game modes. There's quite a lot in here. Last to the base. This one's kind of weird. Um, in this one, who shall I be? I'll be the hunter then. And what happens, the other players have to run and hide, kind of. I'm not entirely 100% sure how this game mode truly is, but basically I'm the hunter and I have to defend the base, it kind of tells me here, other players are hiding, after timer, protect the base, your best abilities, protect the base using your 1337 ray gun, okay, capture a greater amount of players to win, if all players get to the base you lose, well that basically tells you exactly what this whole thing's about. They've got to go and kind of hide and they've got to get to the base without me killing them, basically. Uh, it's much better with full, uh, full lobby, four players. Uh, I have extra sprint speed and yeah, I've got to kind of try and kill them. And oh, what? I don't, I have no idea what happened there. Like I said, I don't really know much about that game mode. I don't know how I randomly died, but okay. It's 
my fault. I honestly haven't got a clue how to do that game mode, but let's try again. This time I'll be one of the, the normal peoples. The people who has to get to the base. Okay, so there's the marker, my the marker of the base. The, the base itself is marked by the star and the hunters marked by whatever prestige emblem that is. I can't really remember, I don't really know much about that. Um, Exactly what oh shit. Where do I go? Okay, this is probably the best place to be. Or not. He'll be better than me, he knows what to do, I think. Out of boundaries. Okay, he's released. He's going after someone. Come on, can I make it? Can I make it to the base? Oh yes, I made it to the base. And yeah. That's I survived basically. And now my other friend has now reached the base as well. And we survived, we won. So that's how it goes basically. You've got to get to the base and him down there he has to stop you. And again it kind of resets the game so that if you were playing public game you would go back to the lobby. And he starts. So, I mean don't get me wrong that game is good, it's just I don't really fully I don't know what happened to me when I, I, I maybe you can't go back into the base when you're the hunter. Uh, okay, so Tig Tag is Tig Tag, basically. Uh, it's There's not much to it, but it's actually pretty fun when you get into it. It's basically... Okay, great, I'm the Seeker. Okay, the Seeker has slightly faster sprint speed than the other players, and he has basically got to catch the other players. I also have... My model is, has teddy bear feet as well, and... Um, yeah, you've basically got to chase them and you've got brains. It's actually harder than it looks, by the way, people, so, uh, yeah. Do not blame me for missing him constantly. And they've just got to run away. But believe me, it gets hilarious. Oh, you bitch! Yes! Flux few motions is a seeker. So you get a few seconds to run when once you've uh, tagged the other person. Oh shit, he's coming after me. See, so you, ha you have a few seconds and then basically you've got to run for your life. Why is he going after me? Why can't I go after someone else? No! Dick. So yeah, anyway, I'm frozen for a little bit. And then now I can come after people, so. Honestly, there's not much to this game mode really, but it's still, it's still fun. Actually, there is quite a bit. I'm, I'm sure it must have been quite hard to make it so that other players um, can be hit and stuff like that. Well, I'm not sure actually, I don't know. Ignore me. Anyway, it is pretty fun. So, next game mode, because there is so many, I have to get through a lot of them, so I can't really go through every single one in full detail. Scavenger Skulls, this one does occasionally, very, very occasionally, it will um, get a bit of an error, which will hopefully be fixed in Physics and Flight Speed 2. But the idea of this is, um, this is your little skull container thing, where you have to collect skulls and place them in your container. All the other players have their own container, you can steal skulls from their container and put them in your own, they can steal skulls from you. To get skulls you have to, no, stay away from my area, bitch. I'm not letting you pass. You're not getting to my container. No, bitch. Don't think so. Don't think so. No, my skulls. No, no. One skull. Okay, yay. So anyway, yeah, you kill a zombie, they drop the skulls. 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 And then you go to your base and you deposit them. And the person, once you get to... Hey, what the hell? He just steal... Anyway, once. Um, wow, how has he got so many? Lucky. Um, he deposits his skulls into the container. And you can see them disappearing. And then once you get to 30, I think it is, whoever gets to 30 skulls first wins. And I believe that's how it goes. And as you can see, I'm not very good at this game mode because I'm not finding any zombies around my area. So, yeah. I 
think you can hold up to eight skulls in your container. Uh, no, in like your infantry or inventory, whatever you call it, before you have to deposit them and you won't be able to pick up any more. So anyway, that's that little game mode. It's a pretty fun game mode as well, it gets pretty competitive. Only I'm terrible at it. But it does get pretty competitive and it's pretty fun. Okay, other game modes. Next game mode, should I say. When it rains, of course, this one's pretty good. You can change the difficulty. Um, shit, I should not have put that on hard, my bad. That's ridiculous. So, yeah, there's diff there's, uh, there's hard and there's um, easy. And what it is, is um, these bombs rain from the sky and you have to collect them. And your speed increases with every catch. Every time you catch one, your speed will increase. And the other players have bombs falling that they have to pick up. Only I can't see those bombs that they have to pick up. I only see the bombs that I have to pick up. And I'm not sure... If once um, it gets harder, if they drop faster and more come. Uh, and yeah, if whoever like misses a certain amount, I think it is, uh, loses or something like that. I'm trying not to... Oh, did I get that? Yes, I'm winning this. I'm actually winning this game mode. I don't believe it. No, 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 no. Ah, missed one. No, no. No, I shouldn't have said I was winning this. Now I've just jinxed myself. I'm going to die now. Oh, no, no. Who won? Right, okay. Are we nearly done? I think we are actually. Okay, Tesla Freeze Tags is the um, the last game mode. I don't think I've actually played this, have I? Let's see. Oh, yes, yes, yes. Oh, I know this one. This one's kind of weird. This is um, it's basically like gun game, except you have to use Wonder Waffles, I think. When I say gun game, like free, like the free for all lobby and um, no, no. Why am I not getting early while I hate being bad at all this game mode? Right, um... Uh, yes. No. Missed. No. No. Stop hitting me! Oh, I am actually hitting them. I was missing all the time, but I'm not all the time you're missing me. Bad. Bad. No. Why are they both shooting at me? Shoot at each other, then I can shoot at you, you're not noise. Nah. Dodge, 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 no! Anyway, I'm not sure how this game really, if this has an end, or if it's just continuous, because uh, I haven't really played it much. Um, so yeah, I'm not entirely sure how that goes. Gordon Freeman is that. This person zapped him and he zapped him and I, I got zapped and I got teleported and zapped and... Nah. No. Yeah, anyway. Okay, so there's that. Game mode, which is a... Actually, it's alright, it's not too bad. Um, I missed gun game out. I forgot about that one. Gun game is kind of what we were doing before, except it's not with Wonder Waffles. Uh, it's basically free for all. It's kind of like multiplayer, if you will, uh, where you kill each other. I'm like, no! And it, it's ridiculous, but it's fun. Ha ha ha, bitch. You're in my world, man. No. Oh no, no. No! Humiliated? Humiliated. Why was I humiliated? Yeah, come on, come on, come on. Yes. Like a boss. Problem is they can spawn behind you. They can spawn anywhere, which is kind of annoying. You never know when they're gonna spawn. You never know when they're gonna... Oh no! Oh Jesus. No! Prick.
ちょいな。Man, these people are too good at this. Or I'm just too bad at this. One or the other. Probably I'm too bad at this. Unbound Gordon Freeman killed me. Oh, Unbound, that's hardcore. It's such a such a hardcore one three three seven hat sort of clan tag you got like, going on over there. Ah, oh, I'm dead. Why am I dead? I'm not I was doing well before, you've got to admit people who are watching this video. I was doing well. I was. Look at this! Look! Look! Yes! You really he should. You can't throw grenades, I don't believe. Uh, you used to be able to do that in... Um, why are they both attacking me? Leave me alone. You used to be able to... You can die. Sorry. Um, you used to be able to throw grenades and it kind of ruined the game mode a little bit because yeah, you're just grenade spamming and stuff. But he's removed that, which is pretty cool. Pretty, pretty awesome. I think your gun gets worse as it goes along, or either that or it's just a random weapon. Uh, I think it's random actually because I have the TDSH. But then shotguns are actually kind of better in this game mode. So I don't know, I think your weapon kind of gets worse as it goes along. It's either that or it's just a random weapon every time you spawn or every few seconds. Uh, yes. Gold card. No, I had a gold carbine. Why did you. Hmm. Oh yes, I got it back. Ooh, we got it back. Yeah. I believe this actually has an end to it. I don't think there was an end to the um, the one in Motion Flex. I think it's just continuous, but I'm pretty sure this has an end. Because I was playing this on another day, I can't remember. I was playing this once and I'm pretty sure we were playing it for ages and eventually somebody won. So, uh, yeah. But I can't keep playing this until someone actually won win uh, wins. But it is a fun game mode. I will not deny at all. It's actually hilarious. Uh, I can play this for ages actually, but I really should. Uh, come on, no, stupid. Anyway, restart. Okay, so that's pretty much every game mode. Let me just check a couple of them all. Mob menu. Well, do technical mob menu after. Forge, Lobby, All Weapons, Sharpshooter, Survival Mode, Power Up Mania, Roll the Dice, so I can see the cross the base, Gun Game, Tick Tag, Scavenger Skulls, and of course, please, Hitler, please tag. And that's it, basically, how to show the Infectable Mod menu. Uh, this is pretty epic, you can select your menu colour and uh, your scroller colour. And I think it kind of mucked up there when it says plus toggle scores because it should say back. And I think that is the kind of button, that's the kind of like coding term for back, but it didn't really turn out right. I think it was supposed to say um, press back and it's showing, showing the actual back button on the screen there, but instead it kind of screwed up. But anyway, what you have to do is go into solo once it's infected and press back. And once you've done that, you will basically have this infectable mod menu. And I'll have to kind of try and describe it to you because I can't actually use it. Sometimes I get an error. Uh, nobody, I don't think anybody else gets the error. It's only the host that seems to get it with the infectable menu. But then again, if you have. Physics and Flex V2, why would you want to infect yourself with the infectable menu when you have the full proper ISO mod menu? So it doesn't really matter about that, but it would be awesome just to show you. So what really happens is the the um the kind of it's hard to explain, it kind of zooms out the uh, the map kind of zooms out and you have a list of uh, options on the top left and there's a there's a lot of stuff. I mean it's probably like as good as the best USB mod menu since I don't use USB mod menus. But it is really awesome. It's an awesome infectable menu. It's got ridiculous amounts of stuff. It doesn't work in solo properly. I think it's only meant for online. 
uh, the D bars don't seem to work in solo, but it does work online perfectly as long as you're host. And even if you're not host, uh, the menu screws up if you're not host, but you can still use stuff like God Mode and No Clip when you're not host if you kind of remember wh where they are and how many times you have to press D pad down, select, whatever. Um, so, anyway, yeah, I'm going to see if it worked here. <clears throat> Uh, it doesn't look like it. No, it didn't work. But don't worry, it will infect every any other player that you're wanting to infect. Um, it's just the host, you sometimes get this error uh, when you're host. Um, but then again, like I said, if you are the host, then why would you want to infect yourself with your own infectable menu when you have Physics Enflex V2, which has you know, a proper ISO mod menu. Uh, but yeah, every other player in the game will have got successfully infected by that mod menu. So anyway, um, I hope you guys enjoyed this um, video of all the game types, and please tune into my next video. This is, like I said, my last video on Physics and Flex V2, most likely. Um, and yeah, I will be making videos about other stuff after that. But I will come back once Physics Enflex V2.5 is released. I'll take a look at that, and I'll um, I'll be making some videos on that as well. So thanks for watching, guys. Please subscribe, like the video would be awesome, and um, yeah, thanks for watching.